it's a work uh, that belongs to the bigger project. But, uh, well, we're going to present some results that we get so far. So, what is the, the beginning of everything? We want to build like a kind of uh, device that we can harvest light and convert into electricity in the charge carrier. And for that, we built like a two interfaces, making with bubble, soap bubble, and then we dub this uh, interface with a photosynthesizer. In between of the, as you, I don't know if you can see my pointer, but in the middle, you have like a water interface. In the middle of the two bubble, you have a water interface in the surface of the photosynthesizer, and then it harvests the light, transforming charge carrier, and then you collect it somewhere. This is the aiming of the project. So we start like simple. So we build first like a model for suitable for doing molecular dynamic simulation, which is a layer, two layers of surfactant, which is basically soap, and a box of water, in this case of uh, 4,055 water molecule. So, we run the simulation on Gramax. For that, we use a molecular mechanics. Therefore, we stay all the time in the ground state. So, for the water, we use a force field SPCE and the surfactant, which is a complex with a hydrophilic tail and hydrophobic head. Is a it's a very common one, very commercial about commercially available, which is hexaethylene glycol monodecyl ether. But I have to say about this uh, surfactant, that is a neutral one. So, in the our simulation, we stood all the time in the concentration of the surfactant in which it form it cover all the surface, but you don't have other structure like micelles forming. So we have in the work chemist, for people who know about the field, known as critical micelle concentration. So for that, then we compute the electro, um, we found that the water, in this case, in this specific surfactant, permeate a lot. And then we compute the dipole orientation of water molecule at the surface. For that, we did, we, come, we establish a Gibbs divided interface in which is the half of the density of water because it permeates all the surfactant all the way, even in the hydrophilic part. And we have a flipping of the dipole projection of water. I mean, we expected the uh, net dipole projection because the symmetry breaking at the surface but not the flipping. It's not something that we kind of expected so enhanced in this kind of system. Also, it's worth to say that the, the flipping occurs in the transition from the hydrophobic, hydrophobic to hydrophilic part. So that led us to study or to kind of investigate how is the hydrogen bond pattern in this kind of system. So this art a cartoon how of that of two snapshot of how it looks the water in the surfactant. The first one in the further most left, you have water interacting with a surfactant. And also in the middle, you have water interaction with water. So kind of the surfactant comes to this rub of to change the hydrogen bond pattern. Therefore, can can lead up to explain why the orientation of water molecule over and below the GBI. Here is a cartoon, of course, how it looks like the projection of the dipole moment. Having said so, we went to get an idea. Oh, no, I have a question. Sorry. Can I ask, please? Yes. So, uh, is it, it like this uh, water is following this uh, hydrophilic uh, part of the surfactant? Because your hydrophobic, uh, hydrophilic part is fluctuating. So, it is uh, towards the bulk side and in some time maybe it uh, uh, turns towards the vacuum side. So, is it, is it like that 
the water is uh, interacting with this part and it's slave to its motion? Actually, yes, the water interacts with the uh, hydrophilic, but and it fluctuates. Actually, the whole surfactant fluctuate that from previous result that we got, like, uh, and it decorrelates in the order of nanosecond. I mean, it fluctuates a lot. It changed the distance, it changed the orientation, and kind of sometimes the water get trapped in the hydrophobic part and stay there. They cannot move because they have a physical barrier, which is a surfactant. Did I answer your, your okay. question? Okay, thank you, thank you. So we went to the hydrogen bond pattern and skipping all technicality, which strike from figure is that we have each curve represent a bond, a hydrogen bond network. And basically what we saw is an enhancement of the hydrogen bond network. That means that the, the surfactant act uh, very active in changing or disrupting the normal or the hydrogen, the water hydrogen bond network. So in parallel, the collaborators, they perform the, um, they kind of corroborate part of our results. Sorry, Ricardo, they, I have a question. Yes. In the previous slide, uh, what, uh, previous slide? This the previous one? one? Yeah, yeah. What do they mean? No, no, next. <laughs> Next one, yeah, uh, here, here. Uh, what do the different symbols mean? Well, basically this is regarding to the connection of two hydro, two of hydrogen bond. I mean, in the sense of you have two, mo two molecule or two, sorry, two oxygen atoms. And for instance, they, can, they could share a hydrogen. If you took one atom, one of those as a reference, they could give, which is an out, one the the the, the hydrogen, or and at the same time receive, get from another oxygen another one. That could be one out, one in. For instance. Okay, okay. So this is in, in terms of the flux of eggs. exactly exactly. Okay. This is how they share the the hydrogen. Perfect, so, perfect. Thank you. Okay. Basically, skipping all technicality, the way that they, 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 that explains something, sometimes that you have some dangling hydrogen in the surface, even though they have the, the presence of in the hydrophobic part, but skipping all, you have an, an enhancement of the hydrogen bond network. I mean, it disrupts, the surfactant disrupts completely the presence of the, uh, of the way that water usually share the hydrogen. So this is an experimental result from the collaborator from Amolf in Netherlands. They perform the SFG spectra. And basically, they, in the cartoon, in I think the most product specialists, of course, they can see everything. But I mean that the most, the best way to see it is the cartoon below in which you have an enhancement of the hydrogen bond network at, this, at the, um, the concentration near to the CMC or even higher, but also the orientation of the water below and over the GDI. Of course, GDI is a very um, it's a computational thing that we get, but basically they can get the orientation in the hydrophobic and the hydrophilic region of the hydrogen bond, which basically is more or less, less the same that we get. So we have a net orientation of the dipole. So we have a charge. Then we went for the electric field in the surface. For that, we take these three cartoon and we separate the whole system, which taking into account the water and the surfactant, the surfactant alone, of course, sorry, sorry. The surfactant alone and also the water alone. For that, we compute the electric field along Z coordinate average over time. This is an, a static way to see electric field. So we have a net electric field that are pulling toward the bulk, but also you have a flipping the, 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 the 
competition or contrasting effect between water and surfactant and of and sometimes the surfactant won't sometimes uh, well it tend to decay the, the the effect of the water but you have the flipping but again this is an static picture this is a very fluctuating system anchored a photosynthesizer in the surface that is going to harvest light and transforming charge carrier is had to take in account the times of the fluctuation they have to take in account the orientation of the electric of the electric field vector in which could be pulling toward the bulk which is in the average case or are pushing away from the bulk so this is the autocorrelation function of the different uh, of the whole system which is the upper left this one is the whole system this is for the autocorrelation function of the electric field as a function of z of the um, surfactant only and this is for the water only we are interested in the we i mean this is a lot of thing to 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 get we are this is an ongoing work Process. This is an ongoing work, and we went on the DDI near to the borderline of our borderline. So we get sorry, that. Sorry, Ricardo. Yes. You, you should finish in four minutes. Okay. 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 I'm trying to wrap up. Then basically, okay. what we get is that everything decorrelate like in the on in the in the picosecond time scale, but and then we try to see what happened with well. The effect of the electric field is very important. There, this is a um, very important topic in modern chemistry the, and how I use the electric field. And then we went for the, our photosynthesizer. That is basically well known. It has the advantage to have a very long time, lifetime of the excited state and very well uh, done. So I'm going to, this is the cartoon of how it looks on our interface. And this is how it's going to look our photosynthesizer inside. So we compute the, we remove everything and we take in account just the effect of the interface, which is basically compute the electric field. I'm going to skip this two slide and going to here, come here. Here we have the energy gap between the Omo Lumu popular electronic population. We have at zero elect, zero volt per, per Per nanometer, we have like three three electron bond gap. But if the electric field goes toward the bulk, it tends to lower the 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 energy gap of the photosynthesizer. But if the electric field goes in the region in, in the opposite direction, which is in the region where there are higher density of water, then that could be the um, undesired effect in the sense that it widened the gap between the homo lumen. So another comment about this kind of photosynthesizer is a two plus charge. So even though the effect on the efficiency and harvest light, we have to see the effect, how will anchor going to be in the presence of this electric field. So for the sake of time, I'm going to skip this last. Well, we compute the the, the, the absorption spectra, which is in accordance with the, I mean, with the presence of the electric field, get red shifted, and kind of is something that we expected. So, trying to wrap up everything. Well, the first conclusion so far from this part of the work is that the presence of a surfactant disrupt the word arrangement in the interface electrically speaking i mean it changed the hydrogen bond network and this is something to take in account this consequence of this arrangement lead to the uh, arise of a strong electric field in the surface that goes even deeper in the bulk like 20 Armstrong, and getting a uh, in uh, for the synthesizer in the surface, you have to take in account this. Also, the presence of this electric field sh it, it should lead us to choose a proper uh, for the synthesizer in order to put it there in and works properly. So, so far, this is 
thank you for your attention. And well, if I have time, I could take some questions. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. A very nice and uh, interesting presentation. So w we could have one quick question. Uh, Elham is uh, asking. Um, so please. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, Ricardo, uh, thanks for your presentation. A very quick question. Uh, have you ever calculated uh, transport properties like electrical conductivity and stuff like that? No, we actually this is uh, this is ba recent, recently baked. I mean, everything that are presented here are completely new, and actually, we are we have more question than answer. So. No, we didn't compute anything yet of that. This is everything new for us. I mean, the implication, the electric field, the the, the, the effect of the electric field in other properties. I mean, this is something completely new for us. We are getting in. OK, great. Thank you. You're welcome. OK, thank you very much. So thank you. Uh, with this, we pass to the next speaker. Thank you, Ricardo, who is 